Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So here is another tutorial on 3D modeling techniques in Revit. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to model the branch house by Milad Ishtiaghi in Revit. Make sure to explore his incredible house design concepts on his YouTube channel or website. If you find this video helpful, consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and first I am going to create some new levels. Let's select this one and I am going to make it 5 feet. And then with this selected we can press CS on the keyboard and create a new level at 15 feet. And we will create 3 new levels here, each at 10 feet. Perfect. Let's go back to level 1 and here I am going to create a reference plane. Let's call it reference plane 1. Now there are two options to create such a shape in Revit. We can either use in place mass or create an in place component. So for this demonstration I will be creating an in place component here. So let's go to architecture and click this drop down and select model in place. Let's select generic models from this list. Click OK. OK again and let's go back to south elevation and here I'm going to create a sweep. So let's select sweep from here and then I will click uh, sketch path and we'll get this dialog box. Here I'm going to select the reference plane that we just created. Here we have it reference plane 1 just click OK. Now let's create a line from here. And then I will create another 5 feet line here. And then we can just create one until this level. And then uh, another one at 10 feet here. Now we want to create an arc. So let's select arc from here. And then I'm just going to pick the end uh, point of this 5 feet line. And then create an arc like this. Let's delete these two lines. We don't need them anymore. Let's create another 7 feet line here. And then I'm just going to drag this reference plane here. So we can easily uh, create our profile in the elevation view. Anyway, let's go to the east elevation here. And we'll create a profile here. But first we need to click finish model. And then I'm going to click edit profile and we will create a 10 feet uh, line here at 45 degrees angle like so. Let's select this line and press DM on the keyboard and mirror it from the middle here. Now I'm going to select both of these lines and just move them to this level here like so. Let's use pick lines and give 6 inches offset. And I'm going to pick this line and then this one. Let's use trim TR and trim this line here. And then we can just uh, close this profile like so. Let's click finish. Finish again. And if I go to 3D, see we got something like this. Now we can simply mirror this. So let's go back to south elevation and I will select this and press DM and mirror it from here. And then just move uh, this sweep to the to this level here. Perfect. Now let's create the walls. So first I will click finish model and go back to level 1. And I'm going to press WA on the keyboard to select wall. And then uh, let's change the location line to finish face exterior. And we'll create a, a 10 feet wall here. And another one here, 14 feet. And let's go to 3D. And I'm going to select this wall and click edit profile. Go to the front view. Let's delete these two lines. 
now I'm just going to use pick lines and just pick the edges here let's pick this arc and then this line and I'm just going to create a horizontal line like this then use TR and just join these lines and then use line and just close from here on this side we can use align tool AL and let's select the face of this wall here by pressing the tab key and then we'll pick this line click remove constraints and uh, we have created this uh, wall profile here let's click finish there we go now we can mirror this wall so I will just go back to level 1 again select this wall and press DM on the keyboard and just mirror it from this reference plane like so let's go back to 3D and we can simply align this wall uh, to this one so let's press AL and pick this face and then uh, the face of this wall there we go now let's work on the floors first i will create a floor here so let's go back to the south elevation and check this level so it's uh, level 3 so let's go to level 3 and i'm going to create a floor here let's select rectangle and we'll create a rectangle let's click finish and go back to 3d there we go okay I forgot to change the thickness of this floor so let's click here edit type first I will create a duplicate it's going to be 6 inches click OK and we need to put the same thickness here 6 inches click OK OK again there we go now let's quickly create the floors on the other levels so let's go to level 5 and I'm going to select floor again use pick lines and just pick the edges of these walls here like so now we can simply copy this floor to the other level so it's still selected we can just click here copy to clipboard and then paste align to selected levels and let's select level 6 click OK there we go ok here we can just align this floor to these walls so we'll press AL pick this face and then this floor perfect now let's create the curtain wall so I will just go back to level 3 and let's select wall from here and then I will just select storefront from this drop down and we'll create a storefront like this. Let's go back to 3D. Now let's select this wall and then edit profile and let's use pick lines and pick the uh, pick this face here and then this one and then we can use trim tr and trim this line and trim here as well and let's delete this line and then i'm just going to click finish just click delete elements there we go we have created our storefront here as well now to cover up this part we can use wall so i will just go back to level 3 again and let's select this wall and press cs to create similar we'll create a wall here like so let's go to 3d and I'm going to select this wall and then edit profile let's use pick lines and just pick uh, these faces here trim this corner and then this one and then we can delete these three lines and click finish there we go 
Okay, I just noticed we have this weird gap here. I think there is some issues with this wall profile. So let's quickly edit that again. Select this wall, edit profile, and we can just uh, delete these lines and pick the edges again. Let's trim the corners. I think we need to edit the top as well. So let's delete these lines and we'll pick the edges again. Let's use trim, trim this corner and then I'm just going to click finish and let's quickly repeat that here as well. Perfect. Here also I think we should align this wall with this one. So now it's looking much better but if I zoom in here you see we, the, the sweep does not match uh, with this floor here. So to fix it we can uh, use void. So let's select this sweep, edit in place, go to the elevation and let's go to create and then click this drop down, select void extrusion. Here I just select pick a plane, click OK and we'll pick the face of this glass here. Just hit tab key a couple of times to highlight the face and then we can create a rectangle here like so. Hit finish, go back to 3D and you can see it's still selected. We can simply drag it through this sweep. If I click outside and deselect this, there we go. And to create water here, we can use extrusion. Let's select extrusion from here. And let's go back to the elevation. And okay, we need to set the work plane. Let's click here, set work plane. Then use pick a plane and let's pick this face again by pressing the tab key and then use pick lines and just pick the edges here. Let's trim the corners and hit finish and then again we can drag this extrusion to the end here. Maybe to create the glass here we can use a curtain wall so let's click finish model and then I'm just going to go back to level 3 and we'll create a curtain wall here. Select wall and then we'll select curtain wall and let's create a curtain wall here. Like so. Let's quickly edit this curtain wall as well. Select that. Edit profile and we'll first delete this profile then use pick lines and just pick the faces here. And then trim. There we go. Let's select this, edit in place and we'll just drag this to the face of this glass here. Perfect. Now we'll just quickly create glass uh, glass railing here. So uh, let's go to architecture, select railing, and I'm going to create a railing here. Let's click finish, and I will just change the railing type. Let's flip it and then move. and I'm just going to mirror it DM and mirror from this uh, from the middle here like so there we go now I will just quickly create the railing at the top as well so that's how to create this cool looking branch house in Revit
So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon to help me create new videos every week. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.